Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to see problem number 4 part 2 under the topic Bode plot. The problem is for the following transfer function draw the Bode plot and obtain the gain crossover frequency. And this is our given problem. In part 1 we had already solved for magnitude plot and phase plot and now we are going to mark it on a semilog sheet. So these are the magnitude plot values. Now we are going to mark these points on a semilog sheet. So in a semilog sheet, the first step is you have to mark the frequencies. Your frequency should be always marked on the x-axis. So here it is 0 0.01. The first value should be multiplied by 10. When you multiply by 10, you will be getting 0 0.1. And when this 0 0.1 is multiplied by 10, you will be getting 1. And 1 multiplied by 10 will give you 10. 10 multiplied by 10 is 100. Right. So the x-axis stands for corner frequencies. And the y-axis stands for both magnitude as well as for the phase angle. You see here I am having the magnitude and here I am having the phase angle. Right. So now we are going to mark the phase plot. So the first point is. For 0.15 frequency, the magnitude is 42.5, right? So here, here I am having 0.1, right? And here 1. So 0.15 will be lying somewhere like this, right? So, uh, this is a point of 0.15 and what is the value of magnitude? The magnitude is 42.5 right so this is my first point I am marking here right and the next thing is at a frequency of 0.25 the magnitude is 38 again 0.25 where it lies it lies between your 0.1 and 1 so this is my second point and the third one is 0.33 the magnitude is 33 so again 0.33 will be lying between your point 0.1 and 1 and here lies my point 0.33 so here I am taking that one and finally at the frequency of 1 the magnitude is 4 so this is my frequency of 1 and the value of magnitude is 4 here right so depending upon the values of magnitude we have to select our scale on the y-axis here right so after marking the points we can name the points right so let this point be A, let this be B, let this be C and finally this point be D. So after marking the points, we have to join the points. So first I am joining points A and B. And next I am joining B and C. And finally I have to join C and D. right so finally this is our magnitude plot so after drawing this we have to mark the respective slopes so what is the first value of slope it is minus 20 now we are going to mark this minus 20 in our sheet so this is my minus 20 decibels per decade so here i am writing minus 20 decibel per decade right here the change of slope is minus 40. Here this gives our first slope in the diagram. So minus 20 we had already written. Then the next slope between B and C is minus 40. So here between B and C I am writing minus 40 decibels per decade. Right. And finally the slope between C and D is minus 60. Right. So we will mark that. So finally, we had drawn our magnitude plot. Now we are going to draw our phase plot. So this is our second table which gives the values of phase plot. Now we have to mark each and every point on the semilog sheet. So here in x-axis, again we are ha having the same frequencies. It starts from 0 0.01 to it extends up to 100. Right. And in the y-axis, here, depending upon the magnitude values, we have to select the respective angles. Based upon the values, we have to select the angles here. So, here our first point is 
the frequency is 0.15 and the value of the phase angle is minus 146. Now we are going to mark this point. You see here I have taken the scale like this and we want the value minus 146. Right. So this is my 140. Between 140 and 160 there lies our 146. So here see this is 140. So the first line will be. So this is 140 and this is my 144 and this is my 148 and it goes on right but what we need here is 146 so between 144 and 148 there lies my 146 right so here just you can keep the scale you can gradually move and here i had marked the point you see at the corner frequency of 0.15 so here it is 0.1 right so we can take accordingly depending upon the number of lines present here we can select okay at point 0.15 so i had marked my point so this is my first point right and my second point is at corner frequency of point 0.2 the angle is minus 160 you see here i am having minus 160 right at minus 160 the angle that is the value is point 0.2 so here it is point 0.1 and here lies my point 0.2. So at point 0.2 I have to mark 160 which is exactly here. Right. And the third point is point 0.25 with an angle of minus 172. Again you see when you move, move here this is 160. So 164, 168 and 172. The third line will give you 172. So at this line. That a corner frequency of 0.25 I have to mark and so this is my third point right likewise you have to mark each and every point and finally you have to join this phase plot using freehand okay no need to use scale here so let me join so this is my phase plot right so finally we had drawn the Bode plot which includes this is our magnitude plot and this is our phase plot. Wait I will show you. So finally we had drawn the plot you see. This is our magnitude plot and this is our phase plot. Right.